Hello YouTube and welcome to another network course or video. So in this video I will show you or introduce you to a very famous protocol analyzer called Wireshark. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is Wireshark? So I will go to the official website here. So you can see the website is wireshark.org. So Wireshark, as you can see here, is the world's foremost and widely used network protocol analyzer. Okay, it lets you see what's happening on your on your network. That's a very interesting part. Okay. So of course you can download it. So if you go up, you can see here there is. Uh, link from which you can download so if I click on that link you can see it's available for Windows Mac OS and also you can install it in Linux if you want there is also a bunch of documentation that you can use in order to get in touch with this program but here I will just show you the basic thing that you must actually know before using it so I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's simple next 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 and done okay so it's pretty easy so let's say it's installed and let's launch it okay so I will get rid of my web browser and I will here launch the program Wireshark so as you can see the interface is pretty simple so here you can see the open on the recent file that I have worked with doesn't matter actually and here if you want to capture you have to choose what network card that you have so here I have a bunch of network cards actually because I have a virtual machine installed on my Windows machine but it doesn't matter the most interesting thing is that you have to choose the right one so here my mine is called Ethernet so if I double click on it it will begin to capture okay the packet on my network so I can stop it I can save this packet if I want but this is not the aim of this video okay so in order to explain you some very important things about Wireshark I'm gonna close this uh, capture continue without saving and I'm not gonna actually open a random one okay so here I have opened a capture that I have uh, worked with a long time before so the most interesting thing that you have to pay attention here is the profile so here at the bottom right you can see the profile is the default so actually a profile is a set of settings that you have to set up for a specific task so for example, if you want to capture TCP protocol, you have to set up your Wireshark in order to capture the Wireshark protocol or something specific in TCP protocol, okay? And all the settings that you have actually done will be saved under the name of this profile here. So for example, let's say that I want to create a new profile. So all you have to do is to right click here in this profile here and you see I have now a menu new so I can choose new in order to create a new profile so you can see here I have some already set up profiles so let's create a new profile and call it for example test 01 for example okay and I hit OK here we go so now you can see here at the bottom the profile has changed from default to test 01 so now all settings that I have or I will do will be saved under this name test 01 so I will show you here some examples of some settings so for example let's say that I want to capture just TCP sync uh, packets so here you can I can apply a filter here for example tcp dot flags 
that flags okay that sync is equal to one in order to capture to capture just sync packets so if i hit enter you can see here i have only two packets that have flag sync is equal to one okay and i can verify that if i go here in this pane here to the transmission control protocol and if i go to the flags you can see that flag for the sync is set okay i can even save this filter here in a button so here you can see a plus sign so if i click on it it's give me the settings for my button that has as a filter tcp flags that sync is equal to one so for example i can call this button sync packets or packets okay so if i hit okay here you see a button has been added so it can filter only sync packets so if i want to get rid of this uh, filter here all you have to do is to click on this red cross here we go so now you have all your packets so if you want to filter now with only the sync packets you don't need to write the filter here you, you all all you have to do is to click on this button here sync packet and you have your two packets okay so remember all the settings i have done actually will be saved under this name of this profile test 01 i can for example change the layout of this uh, window of wireshark so you can see here i have three pins i can change it because you can see here for these two two pins there is here at the right some uh, wide white area that contains no actually information so i can actually change layout to get this one next to this one so how can i do that so you go to your edit menu preferences okay and here under appearance you go to the layout so here you can see the different layouts that i have so by default i have this one two three one after another i can choose this one the packet above and the two panes next to each other so if i click ok you can see now my window has changed its layout so it's pretty interesting layout that i use a lot and also remember all the settings will be applied to this test01 profile another thing that you can do also is to uh, apply specific color for actually uh, filter so for example for my filter here sync packets you can see that they have the same color as the other one so if i want to actually give this specific packets another color i can do that so i can go to the view menu this time and here you can see coloring rules so if, if i click on this one here we go i get this uh, window so i can use another color so i have to do all i have to do is to click on this plus sign here and i tap here my filter tcp that flags okay that sync is equal to one okay I can give it name TCP sync for example here we go and I can even uh, change the color so for example let's make uh, for the background color something green vivid here we go so if I check this box and if I click OK you can see now that I can distinguish my TCP packets okay so this is the first one and probably the second one will be here or something like that so if I click on the sync packets you can see that now 
my sink packet has as a color vivid green okay so remember also all the coloring rules are applied to this specific profile called test01 okay and in order to verify that I can change back to the default profile so this time you just left click and you choose default so you can see now all the settings that I have applied to my profile test01 have gone so I return back to the default profile and of course if you want to return to your specific effect profile 01 or test 01 all you have to do is to left click and choose test 01 here we go and you get your default or not not your default but your customized settings okay so this was just a brief introduction to this very interesting and very powerful uh, network protocol called actually Wireshark okay as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye